Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Please know that my readings, I'm going to do my legal disclaimers, just get them out of the way. Know that my readings, both personal and on YouTube, are for entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health, physical health, if it really resonates for you, if it's confirmation and clarity, then please ensure that you are gaining advice and guidance from those in those areas who are professional, who are qualified before you take any advice from me. I take responsibility for myself only. You must use your own discernment when you are watching my videos and therefore after. Um, if I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you would like to place a gender. You don't have to. You can swap them around. You can get rid of them altogether. Okay, let's crack on. That was the quickest I think I've ever done it. Let me pop you down here. I've got that song um, by Willow, um, Wait a Minute in my head. And I, I've just got like the, um, I've got the chorus going over and over and over. And the song before that, I can't remember what one it was, but it was about love. There's someone here who's either going to feign ignorance on something and be like, wait a minute, how did I know about this? Or it's gonna be the other way around. Wait a minute, let me talk to you about something. That's what I'm getting, which we will see. Please, you guys, this may be a long one. Please get your get your snacks, get your crisps, get your get your um your drinks, your tea, your water, get yourself comfortable, okay? Hmm. Looks like the candle agrees. Okay, where would you like me to go here? Into this soul. Let's see, we've got six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children and childhood. So this is something from childhood. Or it could be pertaining to someone's child. Six of Gabriel in reverse. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships and promotions. So I don't know if this is someone not finishing college or not finishing university or not finishing school. And like maybe they're doing their GEDs now. And what we have in the UK is GCSEs. Um, there's something about going back, something happened in someone's past when... That's really vague. To do with school or not finishing something or getting fired. Which one is it? Let's have a look. Is it getting fired? Is it school? Oh, it's school. Look, look at that going. All right, tell us more about past times in school. What do we need to see? Divine guidance and solutions are upside down. And we've still got the six of Raphael here as well. Divine guidance with the number five is Archangel, Archangel Sandal Fonts. So this is about grounded reality. Um, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this may have been someone from the past who was supposed to be teaching you or you were supposed to be teaching them. Or maybe you were learning together at the same time. Um, you've got solutions in reverse is Archangel Zachiel. Now Archangel Zachiel is one of the archangels of the um, violet flame. Violet flame is very, pur it purges, it protects. Um, and it cleanses away um, negative, something negative. So this is, um, with it being in reverse, I don't know if this is somebody who you knew in the past or someone here in the collective knew someone in the past from school, from high school. It's, it's some sort of establishment, learning establishment. And this person was shady in some way. They were definitely shady in some way. They didn't, they didn't, I was gonna say they didn't show all of their faces and it says here, success that comes from objective compromise. And that's upside down. Self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy, upside down. This is somebody who is like an energy vampire or someone who's got that pick me vibes kind of in the group. Someone who will always try and embarrass someone else in the group so that they look better. This forgiving and healing energy, someone who's holding a grudge. Someone from, this is new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. This is someone from the past. Someone from the past is holding a grudge over what? It says here, four of Raphael, seek out other possibilities in reverse. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions upside down. So this person has held some sort of grudge with someone in the collective for a while. For a while. Yes? Yes, there you go. For a while. They seek out other possibilities. They won't. They, they won't let go of something. They are depressed or maybe they, they can't see the magic in life. And they are not, um, they don't know how to control their emotions very well. So I don't know who this person is. Maybe you grounded them. Maybe you were the one who was like their lifeline uh, grounded energy. But the thing is as well is that if, if 
you know, you can have friends or family members or whoever it may be that may be going through a troubled time and you're there to help them, you know, and they lean on you. And when it happens to you, it's the other way around, you know, and it's there's equilibrium there because you're doing it for each other. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting a draining energy coming in here. This is somebody who would, there's always a drama, there's always a, a, an issue, there's always a problem. And you always have to listen. You always have to be a soundboard. And no matter what advice is given, it's never taken because the next week this person's coming back with the same thing. But I don't think, I don't feel like it was the next week. I feel like it's every day. I don't know if someone lived with this person. If when you went to university, you lived in halls of residence or dorms. Um, if this is someone you went to school with, I don't know if you live really close to them. You'd, but it's, you saw this person every day or someone here saw this person every day. And this person, I don't know what it is that they have a grudge on you for. What are they holding a grudge for? For what reason? Let me turn it this way. Six of the I can go there. You want it down here? Okay. What are they holding this grudge for? Three of Gabriel, because you moved away. Someone moved away. Someone expanded. Or I don't know if, like, if this is a friendship, it could be that you guys were just, you just became too different. Or if somebody is elevating and growing and pouring within themselves and that other person isn't, it may have become apparent. Because when we go through like things like dark nights of the soul, it's where we are, our eyes are opened to the kind of um, the energy that we are, we're magnetizing in, what we're manifesting in. And when we start to move away from that, we have to say goodbye to certain people. And I feel like um, this person is blaming you or blaming someone here for something in the past. It, and it may be as small as leaving. I heard leaving the way that you did. Leaving the way that you did. And you've got the Queen of Raphael in reverse. Follow your heart and love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. And it says kind, understanding, giving and psychic. And it's upside down. And then you've got the Eight of Gabriel. Someone left very quickly for a new beginning. So I've got new beginnings pop popping out there as well. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Someone here left very abruptly or maybe the relationship was just ghosted because this person, it's either they ghosted you or you ghosted them. But I'm feeling more that you may have ghosted this person or someone in the collective ghosted this person because trying to have a conversation with somebody who is the queen of swords in reverse is like trying to get blood out of, out of a stone unless you want an argument. Okay, because this person isn't very kind. They're not understanding. And like we have with that card coming out saying, you know, seek out other possibilities in reverse. It's their way or the highway. They're not giving and they're not psychic. This person may have a very close third eye, but they've got a very th a closed heart chakra. And it says here a love of home and family. So this could be a family member or this could be somebody from your hometown. With trustworthy psychic information upside down. Why? Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships. This person is going to try and come back in, but they're holding a grudge big time. Listen, look, we've got coming out. High Priestess in reverse. Got High Priestess in reverse. This person's been holding a grudge for a while. And then underneath you've got Peace in reverse. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Archangel Haniel, and it's upside down. Archangel Haniel is a really beautiful energy, and I work with them. Um... Archangel Haniel, to me and my experience, is working with nature, animals, um, the spirit of river, the spirit of trees. Um, it's a very nurturing, very beautiful energy with it being in reverse. This is letting us know that this person, whoever this is from the past, this person does things with intent to hurt. And whatever they're calling on is not angelic. It's not angelic. And it's not kind. And it's not, there's something about animal, like animal sacrifices or something along those lines. Now, the fact that we had the card coming out saying that this person isn't psychic, powerful psychic insights, and that's upside down, this person's third eye is blocked or broken or burnt or it's just closed. It's completely closed. This may be why they're holding some sort of grudge and the candle seems to be agreeing the whole time. This may be why they're holding the grudge because whatever they've tried doing hasn't worked. Yeah, because you've got to change your life upside down. They tried to put some sort of block in. If you walked away or someone in the collective walked away a long time ago, this has been like a chip on their shoulder. Like, why didn't you take them with you? Well, there's, there's obviously a reason why you didn't take them with you because you weren't resonating at the same core frequency as them. Because this person is very much take, take, take. 
and very much woe, woe is me, but I heard this person is manipulative or conniving or they know how to play other people's emotions, but they don't know how to control theirs. You've got change your life and that's Archangel Chamuel. And what did we have over here? Children or childhood, embrace your inner child. Archangel Chamuel is the, is the chakra, um, is the angel that resides over your third chakra, which is your sacral chakra. And your sacral chakra is to do with your inner child. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free from procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. And it's upside down. So this person was trying to stop some sort of new beginning coming in for you with Archangel Jeremiah, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So they don't want, they don't want you or someone in the collective to let go and let God. They don't want you to forgive. They don't want you to heal because if you do, then that cycle's finished. They have nothing to kind of grasp hold of if that makes sense if you're cleansing your energy and you're vibrating higher and higher and higher and you're letting go and you know love and peace for yourself there's nothing that they can hold on to so they want to keep somebody so they want to keep someone stuck let's change your life in reverse a sudden revelation that offers freedom so they were trying to do something to someone else's third eye and that's why i effed up theirs break free from procrastination they may have been trying to distract someone or um if you're neurotypical they may have been trying to um, put a lot of focus on certain things that make you procrastinate or make things overwhelming for you. And even if you're not neurodivergent, they may be doing that anyway. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. They wanted some sort of resistance. So if somebody's going through a, a big change at the moment, and for some reason I heard for someone it may be the menopause, um, that won't be for all. There was a, a want, a will, an intent to get you or someone in a collective to push against this, to stress, to be upset. I heard watching and waiting, they're watching and waiting because they want to see whether or not this new beginning is coming in. Because this, and you've got six of Michael here, they want to see if they've got victory. But this new beginning is coming in for someone anyway. It's, it's the light at the end of the tunnel, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. And this may, be, this may have been an exit strategy for someone in the past from being around this person because they're so draining or because they are, I heard depressing and that's not me peeing on people that suffer from depression in any way, shape or form. I've suffered from depression before and it's not fun. Um, it's not that, it's that this person, no matter the conversation, they want to keep it volatile. They want to, like if, if, if they were upset, you know, that, you know, you talk to your friends and stuff like that and they'll try and cheer you up. They would purposely be directing, I don't want you cheering me up. I don't want you to cheer me up. I want you to sit in this energy with me. And if you try to cheer me up, you're an asshole. Excuse my language. It's that kind of energy of, why do I want to be here? I don't want to be in this energy. And someone made their exit plan and moved away from them. And they have held a grudge ever since. Like, how dare you leave? And they have been gunning for someone. Now, as much as this says high priestess in reverse, it can be a high priest as well. So it's irrespective of gender. Take it as it resonates. This new beginning and the sun, the sun's coming out. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Very jealous. Someone here is very, very jealous. They're very jealous that this new beginning happened for someone in the past and that they were happy and that they healed and they were moving on. And that's why they don't want to let go. How dare you move on and not play this game with me? Because so far the cards that I've got out are green and purple. So this is all to do with the third eye and the heart space. Let me put the new beginning over there. What else do we need to know? Three of Gabriel's coming out again. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So whatever it is that they were trying to do, or whatever pickle they were trying to put someone in, the person that they're trying to do this to is still going to come out on top. Because I'm hearing that affirmation or that mantra of, Everything, every test that I am given by the universe, I pass. Or everything always, um, what is it? Everything always turns out how it's supposed to. I can't remember it exactly. But it's more or less just, it's fine. Whatever comes towards me, I will heal, I will learn, and I will power through. Anything else that we need to know about this? So you've got the Ten of, you've got the ten of Raphael in reverse. You've got the Leap of Faith in reverse. And you've got... Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted and funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind upside down. So this person is watching to see whether or not this new beginning has started. 
there's so I don't know what this is, but they're trying to block solutions to any obstacles that they place in front. But they now have to do this manually. And I'm saying manually because they can't use their third eye. They literally have stuck them, they've blocked themselves. They were trying to stop someone else from changing their life, from moving on, from having divine guidance. But I feel like um, as we had the first card coming out being divine guidance and Archangel Sandal fun, I don't know if somebody here is like the instigator of towers for someone. So that could be you, it could be someone in the collective, but your energy is very grounding, very grounded. But the fact that we have purple as well, and my candle is going mental, but we have purple as well, which means very rooted and, and grounded into Mother Gaia, but also connected and having that inner channel open between heaven and earth. Um, but also this purple is being very connected to Mother Gaia, being able to read signs, being able to, and I think that's also reading energy for someone. Maybe growing up, if, you, if you've known this person since like young, 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 growing up, this person may have noticed this. They may have noticed this. You may have tried to help them with their inner child. You were able to ground away energy. Someone here was able to ground away energy. The search for the meaning in life, considering alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Maybe they saw you as a wise teacher or friends, but there was also je there's jealousy. There's a lot of jealousy here. Now, the reason I was saying an instigator for change is because that number five up there is all about change. It's halfway through. It's halfway way through anything, you know? through a lesson through um for a cycle this five being here it brings whoever this resonates for your energy your guidance your um empathy it brings in massive changes for people it brings in towers and that over here changed your life they were trying to stop this so this wasn't even just about stopping you from moving moving forward or someone from moving forward and having a new beginning it was stopping you from having the skill that you do to help other people to have those towers because the tower a tower moment isn't bad unless you really resist it and we did have the energy over here of resisting change towers are as difficult as we make them i mean towers come in all different forms um but if you are going through a breakup for example and you've or you find out the person's been cheating on you that's a massive tower right um but then you find out what well, i was going to marry that person for example it's a good thing that tower happened I don't know if someone here is the one who's I heard the word of the word of the mouth or the mouth of God. Whispers of what? Whispers of truth. I don't know. Someone brings clarity to others, even when we're not talking directly about whatever it is that's bringing them issues. And this may be why in the past, whoever it is that kind of resonates with the Archangel Sandal font energy of being divine guidance. Um, may have tried helping this person and then it just got too much because you someone here realized that this person just wanted attention and they want energy and they want time they don't want a solution and that's why that solution's upside down and that solution card has a 14 condensing down to a five they don't want change they want the new beginnings they want the shiny things they want the you know the healthy relationships but they don't want to actually put time in to do so so that's where the jealousy comes in because someone here walked away from this and went on and continued to live their best life. Mm. There's so much to accomplish, make very detailed plans, being being watched over by someone kind. So this person is watching. That's what I mean by the procrastination. There's this energy of trying to um, distract someone. And they're definitely talking about this because you've got the twins coming out over here. So that is Gemini. And when I was setting up, I kept seeing Gemini everywhere. Gemini, 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 Gemini. So there's someone here talking, definitely communicating, networking. Um, who are they talking to? Make a very detailed plan. They haven't. They haven't made a very de detailed plan and they don't know what to do because it says trustworthy, understanding, devoted and funny and it's upside down. They're seeing you as not being trustworthy. How dare you go away? Have you blabbed all their secrets? Okay. Seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next adventure. They did they endeavor. They did something. Um, they did something irresponsible, or they did something like off the cuff. It was spontaneous. You have invested wisely, and it's upside down. If this is like a sibling, they don't tell people that they have another sibling, 
and I heard only to set you up. So if this is a sibling or a cousin or a best friend that you had from when you went elementary school or whatever, this person will pretend to not know you until, um, unless they want to set you up with something and they're like, that's my sister, we can do blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, they did something very quickly and they weren't thinking, they weren't thinking straight. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. This person, this Queen of Raphael, this Queen of Swords, is it Queen of Raphael? No, Queen of Cups. Shut the front door. So this is a narcissist. This Queen of Cups in reverse is a narcissist. This is someone who is conniving. That's why I was getting manipulative. They don't follow their heart because they don't really know what their heart, where their heart is, if that makes sense. They've got epiphany upside down, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation is upside down. This person is so blocked so blocked you come over here and you've also got the chariot that's the last one i want to take out the chariot archangel metatron upside down you know that archangel metatron and archangel sandal form they're almost like a pair and i don't mean romantically they are just the two together because archangel sandal form is the archangel um of weighted things of trees of earth of of nature and i know uriel is also archangel of earth but sandal form has a different vibration it's very grounded it's it's connected to the crystalline grid of the earth whereas archangel metatron is connected to the cross consciousness the grid to you know the um the great central sun all the way up there so there's a pair here or this person trying to mimic or copy because this came out in reverse and it's number seven. So this is lies and illusions or something coming to something coming to the surface or people finding out about something that's not that's a mystery. Maybe people are starting to realise that this person has had it out for someone in the collective for a while and that they're not trustworthy. Because I feel, and if you look at some of my other readings, it was talking about slandering someone's name and trying to paint someone's character as being like defaming someone's character and it seems like here people are starting to figure out haha this is projection this is projection because when we're looking at collective they're coming across like archangel sandal fun vibes divine guidance this is somebody who searches for the meaning in life they consider different approaches when they need to when there is when they can't find a solution they surround themselves with wise teachers and friends yeah, this is the person that helps others when they want to go into new beginnings, helps them to kind of guide them through with those towers. So how is it this person's untrustworthy then? Who is it that's questioning this? Because this chariot here, the chariot is about movement, but it's also to do with um, healing, trans transmuting energy. Because you have both a white horse and a black horse, which to me denotes, you know, yin and yang, light and dark, male and female energies. And it says here, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. And it's upside down. So someone here, they gave up on something or something happened with their job. And that's why I was getting at the start. There was something about someone getting fired. Somebody thinks that whoever this person is from your past or from the collective's past, people are now realising that they're untrustworthy and that they were holding a grudge over something look for the magic in life they can't find the magic in life because they can't see it they can't use it they can't see it this one or that one okay why can't they see it why can't they see it let me turn them around why can't they see it why can't they see the magic in life? what was it that they were trying to do to someone's third eye silent cries the pleading man silent cries you know Ancestors, they were trying to block someone from their ancestors. Stop. They went in heartbreak coming in. This person, excuse me, my lips are so flipping dry. They, there's something that they've done very spontaneously because they were upset. They felt heartbroken. This person, like their emotions are all over the place. This is more pride than something else. This is pride. This person's very prideful. And ancestors coming out. So they tried doing something to your ancestors or to the collective's ancestors. Now, if this is somebody that's related to you and you have the same ancestors, it doesn't mean that they're going to show up and be like, right, let's mash up that person over there. It's something to do with your lineage, like your, um, your royal lineage or your spiritual lineage. Now, this, the pleading man, 
There's jealousy over a man. The pleading man. This may have been somebody that either this person from the past, be that a school friend, be that a family member, may have been. That is the reason why I said about, you know, if somebody cheats on you and you find out that they've been cheating and it's like a massive tower, but then you think, you know, after you've had hindsight and you've healed and stuff, you look back and go, I was going to set up, you know, home with that person. I'm so glad that I found out about it. Something's going on here. Why did I say that specifically? Lies you tell, the lies you tell. There is this pleading man. I don't know if this pleading man was with this family member or this friend from the past. And there is some sort of lie that was told by them about you breaking up their family or you slept with their man. And that's the reason why they left or whatever that may be. My fair lady's upside down. Yeah, they were saying that you were crass, that you were for the streets. For the streets. And look, you've got five of Gabriel here as well. And it says, a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. So this is drama. This is trying to bring drama in. Drama llama, soul tie and time stamp upside down. So I don't know. There's something about someone they were dating or someone they were with that um that left them okay that left them because they lied about having a soul tie i don't know who this person is but they that's why i was getting that doppelganger not doppelganger but like someone copying your energy because your your energy is coming out as archangel sandalphon it's very grounded it's very nurturing it's very um that boss daddy energy that's sandalphon i've done meditations with sandalphon before in like group meditations and that energy feels like when i was walking home i felt like my legs were made out of tree trunks it's so heavy and grounding but in a good way um they tried to copy this energy but they came out as metatron in reverse didn't they this is somebody who's not connected to the divine this is somebody who um, I heard they spin out of control when they try to look through their third eye. And maybe when they were younger, that happened. Whenever they tried to do guided meditations, they would just spin everywhere. Or they wouldn't be able to kind of navigate where they were going or what energies could come towards them. And that's why they needed you or someone in the collective around them, especially going through um, childhood. And that's why they may be trying to reach out now because they want you to ground them wow wow and that's why they were always every day every day every day just pouring crap or pouring out bs or pouring out this toxic vibration because they knew that you could ground it so maybe you made them feel a little bit saner that's wild there is this i don't know they were siphoning someone's energy or they've tried to siphon someone's energy again because this pleading man this pleading man this is not even this pleading man pleading with them. This is this person wanting to come towards you or coming towards someone in the collective. Because this high priestess in reverse, this queen of, of cups in reverse, this person also blocked whoever this pleading man's third eye is. They've been doing it. That's why this person is so blocked because they have been messing with people's third eye for a while, for a minute. And not just yours, not just this person's. This person does like illusion spells or glamour spells or something like that to get people to do things for them and they tried messing with your ancestors now like i said if this is somebody that is um related to you their ancestors were like what are you doing what are you doing i i don't know they called on like ancestors who are um more low vibrational because not all our ancestors were you know of love and light some of them were absolute mofos um and it, i feel like they called on the darker ones they lied about a soul tie. They lied about a soul tie. And you've got gut feeling coming out. This pleading man over here had his third eye blocked. So he wasn't listening to his gut feeling because he couldn't feel them. He couldn't feel them. And now that he's moved away from this person, now that he's gone from that person, they're going around telling lies saying that you slept with them. And that's the reason why they left because you're a home wrecker or you've done this or that because this person loves drama. They love drama. This person's got such a grudge. Look at that. Yeah, divorce. There's some sort of divorce going on. Sailing ship and soul tie. And then you have altar upside down. 
Now, either it's a divorce or this person was trying to tie this man down or tie this masculine energy down into some sort of matrimony. Timestamp, and they had a certain amount of time to do so. They had a certain amount of time to do so and they weren't able to and they're vex. They are so vex. Cold as ice, look. Now they're showing their their true their true energy but this this pleading man i feel like they had um quite a tumultuous or dramatic kind of relationship lots of fighting throwing plates you know and then make up sex and then a week later doing the same thing again police being called to the house because they're being so noisy and shouting all the time and retete and then i don't know and then there'd be like pauses or it'd be quiet i don't know if that's because he traveled she went away where did she go home to the parents or home to someone interesting and now now they're trying to play this game again they want to carry on for this hot and cold hot and cold hot and cold fight and make up fight and make up and this pleading man's not pleading anymore time ran out on something this person's cold as ice towards them now cold as ice towards them now what's this one deadly words because whatever was said in the last one this this broke something it broke it broke some sort of spell or it broke some sort of binding it woke this person up it woke this bleeding man up some sort of deadly words some sort of deadly words anything else the witches and they're upside down so who are the witches? Who have they been working with in the dreams? Oh, so these witches in reverse, something's happened. Something happened to both this high priestess in reverse and whoever they work with. They said, I don't know what was said in this argument. I don't know if this person was supposed to say that. I don't know. They've said something. And it's messed up, not only this high priestess in reverse, but the people that they work with as well. And you look at this. I told you, these people, they have like this mind control -y, um glamour kind of spell work that they do. Like whispering in people's ears, influencing them to do certain things or to give up money or whatever that may be, right? Boom. Something happened in their dream time or something happened in their astral, right? And it's linked to this argument or it's linked to this this masculine leaving why did they leave because look you've got a massive tower massive tower massive tower and again these may be words that you have said or posted or a comment a fly by comment and not in a nasty way but it gave this masculine almost like um it's like having amnesia and all of a sudden and you get a memory back and you're like what the flip was that and the more you dig into that memory the more it kind of like expands and opens up into a landscape and then you start remembering the whole thing and the more that you think about that more other memories start coming in and flying everywhere when they had that argument i don't know if this masculine watches your social media or if you're a tarot reader and they watch your content if you're a singer or a dancer or a writer whatever that may be this there was an argument over you guys anyway I feel like this person was jealous because if you've got some sort of platform or if you have some sort of social media presence, this masculine had, I saw someone looking on their phone. So that's what the argu the last argument was something about this person watching you or watching someone on the collective on their phone. And they saw this and they had some massive argument and whatever was said, there's some sort of, um, there's some sort of wording that they use. Because I feel like this masculine may have called this person a, a B-T-I-C-T-H. I don't even think I spelled that right. But a female dog, you know what I mean. And then that person may have shouted out and been like, well, actually, no, I'm a witch. Something along those lines. There, there was some sort of, like, explosive argument where this person then went back and was flicking and listened to either your music, whatever it is that you create, and they had that epiphany. And then that night, something happened in the astral connected to that and i think it's because this soul tie has been removed because they, they mm, i keep going blah, blah, blah. now anything else that i need to know please and thank you pluto to resurrect to get to the heart of to do or die you must and storms look i'm telling you this person whoever this high priest is in reverse 
is for you this queen of cups in reverse is for you someone that you've known since childhood or someone that you know was an old friend this person is trying to re resurrect some sort of like um battle between the two of you or argument or they want you in i heard the six of swords in reverse they want somebody to to be stuck in some sort of energy and that comes back to them trying to they, they were trying to stop you from moving forward having this new beginning but you're too grounded somebody here is too flipping grounded oh my gosh now surround yourself with teachers or friends i feel like if Archangel Sandalphon is the energy of the collective at the moment, that means that the new friends that are actually coming in are going to be vibrating at the same frequency as that. So they're going to be really grounded as well. So whatever it is that this person was trying to do, like to the third eye, they were sending it towards you or someone in the collective, not realizing that there are already other people who are, if you haven't already met them, you are about to meet them and they all have the same vibration. And it's because you already have that soul tied to them. They're all protecting you and you're protecting them in the astral. You're already protecting them in the astral. Stop. Something went down in the astral. And these three witches, they're not witches anymore. They may be by label, but that's it. Thank you, Candle. They may be by a label, but that is it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -mm -mm. And they want to resurrect something because they think that they'll get this man back or they'll be able to lock him back up again. And I heard Pandora's box and that came out in one of my other readings. So it might be his emotions. There's something here about him navigating his emotions that he's never done before because you've got to have faith in your dreams. And then underneath that, you've got a triumph of lies. Have faith in your dreams, triumph of lies. This is how they were getting to people through the through, um, through dream state through dream state because there's so many different dimensions they were going through different dimensions that makes sense why i had the song at the start by willow with um wait a minute because it's a bit where she says i think i left my consciousness in the sixth dimension wait a minute so they were trying to go through different dimensions to find pieces almost like um fragments of someone could be soul fragments is it soul fragments of the collective or soul fragments of the pleading man both but i heard the pleading man more why are they trying to control this person so much a lot of lies a lot of lies and that number down there is number one so that's the magician in tarot so this is to do with resources but this is magic they're doing this what is their faith in their dreams there's there's a reason why they're doing it. it's like money or resources or a home or something i heard stature stature all right, let's see. I think I left my consciousness in the sixth dimension. I'll put the song down below um, so you guys can have a look. Um, so have a look down there. It should be there already now. Ooh. All tied up. And the sun. They wanted to keep this person bound without a doubt. They were trying to bind someone in their dream state. They tried binding someone from the collective in the dream state because they'd already done it to this pleading man. And it went completely flipping wrong. And that's where the boom, the tower came from. And this is where these all these three witches lost, that had their prowess. They have lost their energy. They have lost their magic. That is why with this over here, looking for, look for the magic in life. They haven't got any. It's like they've had all of this revoked. Because they went up against one person not realizing their whole soul family were in the ethers with them. Stop. And look, you've got all tied up and the sun. So they were trying to they were trying to tie up the sun. Well, angels do shine like the sun, don't they? There's something here about binding. They were ah, because the sun is growth. The sun is. I don't know who then would be Archangel Metatron. Who actually is Archangel Metatron? I don't know why that came to me. A time to give rather than take it. They were trying to take from... They were doing this through someone's dream state. They were dream walking. This, do you know what the thing is? A ninth dimension to me is where the where our ancestors reside. But that may be for someone else. What's on the sixth dimension? What's on the sixth dimension? Stop. 
shine. It's an energy source. It's the energy. It's an energy source of some sort that's on the sixth dimension. That can literally could be fragments of you or someone in the collective. You've got appreciation underneath as well, and community. This community can't get in there. This isn't a community. The sixth dimension isn't a community. I feel like it's. I feel like it's a vibration, or it's a light, or it's a something. Mm, that's interesting because I had a dream a couple of days ago of um, be, it was like really sunny. It was really sunny, like it was so bright and it was so warm and there were hedges. It was like a country lane and there were hedges going down each side, but it, was, it wasn't very wide. And at the bottom there was another hedge so you knew you could go either right or left. And I remember looking down and seeing in the corner something and I was like, is that a bear? Oh my gosh, is that a bear? And then three kids went past and they were on bicycles and I was like, hey, 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 be aware, there's a bear in the corner there, just make lots of noise so it scares, so you scare it off. And they rode down there and they started chasing it and it wasn't a bear, it was a ram. It was a ram. And there were two rams. The, the one that was there was a black ram and it hid in the grass because it was frightened and then a white ram jumped in front of it and was trying to butt the children and I was like, get out of here and it tried to butt me and I was like, whoa, whoa, no, I'm out. I'll, I'll get out of here. There is this energy of something on the sixth dimension being very sentient, very beautiful, very connected um, and it's connected to Mother Gaia in some way because look at her, she's a tree. She's the energy of a tree and she's got a white ram next to her as well. So it's not a community in the way of people or things. I don't know. There's something on the sixth dimension that's very, very important. They may have been trying to get into this. They were trying to siphon something because it gave them light or it gave them um, growth. And that's been blocked. And that's why they could, their third eyes are gone. Gone. That's why I was picking up in my other readings that this person, um, they feel like they have, that's why I was saying about amnesia. This person may be losing their memories. They may have early onset dementia or Alzheimer's and I don't wish that on anyone. My grandparent, one of my grandparents had um, dementia and it's, it's not fun. It's really, really not fun. Um, this person, they've done something to their brain. They tried going into a higher vibrational um, dimensions to do some lower dimensional stuff and it went wrong. It went sideways. It went flipping sideways. Wow. It went left. It went left big time. Yeah, look, you've got Goddess of the Moon upside down. How are you going to try and bring some sort of fight to, I heard, a sun god or to something that shines like the sun in the sixth dimension with something that is the pale, a pale reflection or imitation of the sun because the moon only shines because the sun shines on it and you're really going to try and come up and sneak do a sneak attack on someone not realizing that it's not just them up there it's i had all of space and time all of space and time the soul families that you have the soul family that you have in this dimension in this timeline you have in every other timeline in every other dimension and they came and tried to do a sneak attack these three right they try to, with someone's like low vibrational ancestors, they try to come in and do some sort of haya, you know, ninja moves, and ended up getting their ass whooped and they were blinded. They were flipping blinded. And my candle is agreeing. Confirmation, confirmation. Thank you, candle. Neptune, the idolization of confusion regarding sacrifice. They were so flipping confused. Then they, this person's got the audacity to have a grudge now over trying to whoop your ass in the astral and having themselves blinded. Whose fault is that? It's not yours, not mine, it's theirs. Oh my gosh, like I said in my, my um, disclaimers at the start, I'm not responsible for anyone but myself. This person needs to start taking responsibility for themselves because this is stupid. Oh my gosh. They honestly thought they were gonna sacrifice someone. They thought they were gonna sacrifice someone. Oh no. And now there is a whole flipping community that they work with and this storm that they wanted to bring towards you, that they're trying to resurrect, yeah? They sent it towards themselves. Now let's find out what... So what's happening? What's happening to them as a result? Let's see what's happening to them as a result. Oh, oh my gosh, they're so slippery now that I've put um, 
lamination on them, whatever it's called, south node, they're in their south node. Remember, when we're talking about their memory, we consider now is not the time to, somebody's losing them. I heard their marbles. Oh my gosh. I don't know who the other two witches are. And do you know what? About a year ago, a year ago or so, I remember getting a download of three witches, the white, the grey and the black. And I didn't know if that meant a white witch, because I didn't think it would, a grey witch and a black witch. I took it from a white person, a biracial person and a person of colour. That's what I was getting. And if you look at this here, almost, you have, um, you don't have a white person though. Well, there's silent cries now. Because I don't know what happened to the other two, but they have left. And you've got the big ass sun here as well. Sun, sun. They got, they weren't burnt by the sun. They were blinded by the sun. Whatever is residing on the sixth dimension is not messing about when you are their peeps. They look after you. And I feel like it's, because it's, it's this, I can say it's a sun god, but it's not a sun god. I don't think I'll be able to explain what it is because it's it's big and it's ancient you look at this this is ancient it's, it's as old as time but it cause it causes explosions and it's connected to you or it's connected to someone in the collective and it is I had a gentle giant to you and to your lineage or to your um your ancestry why because you've got, th yeah, th this person's in South Node. They don't know what to do now. What else do you need to know about this intuition? 12th house, your faith, hidden tendencies, large institutions, or overwhelming events. It's got, there's something about, whatever it was, that there was a reason why you were in the sixth dimension. Like an initiation or information being passed down through your third eye. But this intuition here and your faith, hidden tendencies. I don't know if this is someone's clear cognizance getting better. Um... Something had to be handed over because I'm seeing like a glowing scroll or a glowing baton or something along those lines. And I know I don't keep looking at you and I'm looking down here it's because I'm channeling quite quickly. But something was like being given. Someone had passed, passed and it's not just an exam. It's like they had been studying for a very long time. And a lot of my dream downloads lately have been in the different various schools that are in the astral. And they may be created in a way to make me understand what they are. So I've seen my primary school, or which would be like my elementary school. I've seen my um, secondary slash high school. I've seen my university slightly. And then there were other places. This is like a school of some sort. That's the best way that I can describe it. But this in the sixth dimension, there isn't, there aren't walls. And there isn't a floor. And there isn't a ceiling. And there aren't physical objects or tangible objects this is to do with energy it's connecting to the sun because you guys have the energy of sandal fun you know as above so below and they tr that's what they were trying to do they were trying to come in and mash that up or get the scroll mash up your third eye and they just had their asses. they had their asses handed to them. They had their asses completely handed to them. And I'm sorry for saying ass so much. They're in grief. They're in absolute grief now. What are they producing? Because this, yeah, right? What are they producing? Because this um, Allah, this goddess here with grief, she's pregnant. So there's grief here. Oh, they're having to hold a lot because... I don't know what kind of deal that they made with these ancestors, especially the ancestors that are low vibrational. Like everyone has low vibrational ancestors as well as high vibrational ancestors. I am biracial. My dad is like brown. You know, half of my family is black and half of my family is white. And if you go back far enough on one side, there would have been slave owners and then the other side you would have had slaves, right? Um, this person was tapping into the energy of like the ancestors who caused grief or held grief not so much the ones who held grief because of trauma but because it's the ancestors that created the grief in the first place now this person has to hold it 
they have to hold it because they were gonna they were gonna give something i don't know what their victory would have been like you not having not trusting your third eye or you losing your psychic abilities because the thing is as well if you put in comments i'm not psychic everyone's psychic everyone has a third eye everyone has the same set of chakras that we have everyone everyone has foresight everyone has that don't tell me that you've never kind of gone you're thinking about your friend or whoever and then they call you or that you have had a dream where you're like what's going on there and you've googled it and you're like oh my gosh that makes so much sense everybody has psychic gifts everyone and there is this they were going to give something to them but there was a deal and it's put them in their self node it was supposed to stop you in your tracks what were they going to do though what were they going to do with like the scroll or the information because look yeah today for tomorrow this is a sibling this is a friend from the past this is somebody who copies your energy as well as your style but they copy your energy at some point they were they were siphoning someone's energy because it's very grounding and i had big deals it was giving them big deals Gra taking your grounding energy or siphoning this energy was helping them to keep this pleading man but this pleading man wasn't supposed to be with them in the first place they weren't supposed to be with them in the first place. Discernment's upside down. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet the com with compassion and wisdom. This is like a narcissist with who? A wounded warrior or someone who is wounded, whoever this pleading man is. Yeah, this person, this is how this high priestess in reverse was keeping people Keeping what they felt like balance was, was keeping everyone else in imbalance. Now this grief, today for tomorrow, this person, what are they going to do? Capricorn, it's to do with your money and it's to do with your goals. This person is jealous. They've been jealous since childhood. Oh my gosh. Your goals, your day-to-day -day reality of, use the most business-like way and, and Gemini, Told you Gemini would come out. I know it came out quite late in the, the reading, but information to explain communications about resulting from the fluctuations of. This person has to explain themselves and not only to the ancestors because they want something now. They want something. And the high priest to high priestess can't produce it because they haven't got a third eye anymore. And if they have, it's literally like, you know when you think of your pineal, your pineal gland, I can never say it properly, which is more or less where your third eye is in, inside your head. It's completely calcified. It's completely calcified. Completely. So that's health issues. Oh my God. That's why there's something wrong with their brain. Oh my gosh. Because they were, they were watching and talking about your day-to-day -day reality of your goals. They wanted, they wanted you to explain your goals. Maybe in the past you had explained your goals. Because when you're friends with someone, you're friends with someone. And it may have been, when I was a kid, I wanted to be so many different things. I wanted to be a teacher. Then I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be the first, this is showing my age, I wanted to be the first female um, Marvel illustrator to work under Stan Lee. That shows my age, right? Um, then I wanted to be a tattooist, which is why I have so many tattoos, um, because I spend all of my uni funds um, rather than on rent. I just got myself lots of like sneakers, backpacks and, and tattoos from the same place. Um, I've, I've had so many different jobs that I've wanted, but along the way, we make friends that we think are going to be our friends forever. And there are certain things that we may, you know, open up and tell them because we trust them. This person here, I think that that has always been their thing of getting others to open up to them. It's in the eyes I heard, it's in their eyes. Um, so they may have known what your goals were, but they don't know what your goals are now. Because information to explain, communications about, and results result, resulting from the fluctuations of, they don't know, and now they can't they can't remote view, they can't get they can't psychically they can't psychically attack in dreams because they're too flipping scared to even try. And the thing is, if they haven't got a third eye, does it mean they even do they even dream? Do they even dream? Saturn, this is a flipping lesson. This is the biggest, hardest and most painful lesson this person's had to, to learn because I heard you should have left it alone. You should have left it alone. This person, for however long yet, we go back to the four of Raphael, this person has been 
they've made sure that they have not looked at any other possibilities. So they have been constantly thinking and sending evil eye and sending bad juju and talking about you and, te and telling lies and trying to build themselves up and constantly building up this, this fake um, competition with you, with someone in the collective. And they may have been told many times by their ancestors who are, who are high vibrational, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop before you end up with no third eye. With no psychic abilities. And sorry for me slurping my, my drink. And they didn't listen. They didn't listen in any way, shape or form. They just did not listen. It says the maturity that brings caution regarding and limits imposed. There you go. There you go. I don't know if somebody said to them, you need to be careful. If it, if it was a threat or if that... It may have been this pleading man. They may have had an argument. He was like, you need to be careful. You need to be really flipping careful. Because I know stuff. I know stuff. And this card over here is upside down. And it says, unalive. It doesn't say unalive. It says K-I-L-L. -L. This is upside down. So I don't know if this person was like, you know... Um, one, you're immature, and two, I know what you tried doing now, or I've got receipts or something. That's what they tried doing that was spontaneous, that was very irresponsible, that they just done very quickly, and it left them crying because this sailing ship, you moved away or someone, because they tried to do an unaliving spell as well, this is where some of the arguments were coming from. They tried doing an unenliving spell on someone here and um, it's just ended up with tears. It ended up with everyone leaving them or the people that were like their my main, um, I had money roll or their, their main, I'm seeing like, you know the machines in, um, you see, I was going to say in drug dens, I've never been to a drug den, but you know when you see on like um, Netflix, they'll have documentaries um, and it will show them counting up the money. I don't know why I'm using that as an ad, there's maybe, maybe a reason. And you see that it goes, and then it'll get, put the number of how much it is underneath. This person, this is how they are envisioning, envisioning this pleading man. This person must have a lot of money, and that's why they wanted them to stay with them. Okay, and they've been doing this for seasons. They've been doing it for seasons. Let me pop you there, there, and there. Something flopped. Yeah, look, as well, with, with in Capricorn being here and your day-to-day -day reality of use the most business-like way and and then you have career advancement upside down there was something that maybe this pleading man was supposed to be financing for them and that's why they didn't want them going anywhere because they've been competing like i said i keep repeating this they've been competing and competing and competing with someone for a very long time and let's say you have a you've just opened up a nail salon or you've decided that you've got a little table in someone's hair salon to do nails this person is watching and seeing if you're advertising do you have an online website they're going to do the same thing just because, not because they love doing nails, but because they want they want you to fail or they want someone's business here to flop. Let me see. What else wants to come out about this? Ninth house. And I've still got that song by Willow in my head. Aries, your willpower, what you think you know about, do it in your own way and. And then you have as if it or they came from all there is. The philosophies and laws involved do it in a big way. So this person definitely did not, did not, okay, did not like the fact that they couldn't control you anymore, I heard. They may have been growing up, um, they could have been bossy or at school or at high school or at college or wherever. It may have been like they like to be the center of attention and you had to do what they did. We have to dress the way that they did. There's something going on here. But as if it or they came from all there is. This person talks about you a lot, man. A lot. And I don't know who it is that they're talking to you about. Who are they talking about? Who are they talking to about the collective? Who are they talking to? You've got the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are in great just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all so they may go on walks with other people outside crown chakras coming out as well other people who are psychics it's these other two witches so they were bitching quite a lot excuse my language to somebody else um while being out in nature 
I don't know if they had like a certain place that they they met up or they someone flew to someone else the frequency of crown chakra the violet flower of life supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy to light so that's what they were talking about as well how are you being able to why why and how are you able to alchemize and i feel like i can't even get my words out somebody here is really frustrated and this is past energy now i don't even know if these people are in con contact with each other anymore i don't think they're in contact with each other anymore let me find out are they in contact with each other anymore See. it's time to release negativity no someone's angry i feel like they've been disbanded or they're not talking to each other because you've got the sun coming out they're angry because they they feel like they got lynched they feel like they were set up for an ambush and this hype that's why they're holding um, a grudge as well because they're like you've embarrassed me and the people that i was working with don't trust me anymore that's the people over here going, you know, you were saying this, this and this about this person. And we're realizing how much of a liar you are and how untrustworthy you are. If this person has got the flipping sun, this is the third time it's come out, the sun around them, giving them scrolls and I don't know, scholarships and pats on the back and whatever and secret handshakes. How the flip is this person going to be easy an easy target or how is this person going to be easy for us to siphon or blah 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 and you find out that this person and i've said this in some of my readings someone's a flipping angel someone here is an angel someone here and i'm talking about now i'm not talking about past lives or you know the, the beginning of time you were an angel maybe you were right now someone is embodied is an embodiment of an angel and that's why gaia came out so we've got sandal we've got trees coming out it's time to release negativity and it's upside down. Whoever these two are, they've sold shit, they've moved, they've gone back. They may have, I don't know if um, this person over here from your past, if they had traveled over to them and they were staying together and while they were working on this, I said I had like a working vacation or the other way around. But they've literally got in their boat or they've got on their, their plane or whatever and they've gone home. They're like, F this. Nah, nah. We don't want to be part of this. Because we've got the sun here, sun here, sun here. I'm sure there was another sun. That's, that's crazy. The creation of, the gaining of respect for or from things brought to life, to life or light. So these two over here have been flipping humbled. They've been humbled. This isn't even like we're going to go back and then we're going to try and F up this person again. They're like, no, you lied to us and we are humbled. You were trying to take down an angel or you were trying to take down somebody who is connected to the sun, to the star, the actual sun, to Metatron, to Sandalphon. Are you, are you mad? Because I don't know if they lost their third eye. I heard they lost everything. It was burnt, baby. It was burnt wow and it says here the gaining of respect for or from so this put they're kind of like no 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 this we're, we're at the bottom of this hierarchy enough enough respect we're out of here wow sixth house as a full-time job serving do a little at a time and bring them bring love into the situation so even though they were getting their asses whipped or give handed to them there is this energy of like, because I'm seeing, um, is it Horus or Anubis or, I don't know, but people are in battle gear and they're being given instructions of return them to sender or send them back to where they need to come from or just, you know, don't hurt them too much, just hurt them enough that they know not to try this again. So whoever gave this instruction, be that you or be the actual flipping son, was like, we can bring love into this situation, but what we're gonna do so that you learn your lesson, this is your, you know, your set and return, you no longer get to play around with fire, be that fire magic or water magic or air magic or earth magic, you've got nothing, okay? You're having that taken away from you. It's like the child who finds the lighter you know, a cigarette lighter and wants to play with it and burn paper and stuff and having that snatched away. That's, you don't know how to be responsible so you're not having it. I feel like this sun energy or whatever is in the sixth dimension, it just, it, it looked at them like children, like what are you doing? Oh, you've been doing this for a while, have you? Right, okay, you're gonna get spanking. <laughs> it's that kind of energy, seriously. The thing is as well though with those two cards, this 
childhood friend or this person from the past, they've known that someone here is just made of love or someone here, their vibration is so flipping high. They know it is, they know it is. And that is what they can't get over. They lied to the people they were working with because they knew that if they went, oh, by the way, this person's vibration is A, B, and C, and they're connected to Metatron and to Sandal Fawn, they may be an angel themselves. They would have been like, heck no, I'm not coming anywhere near that. What, what's wrong with you? Give up the ghost, mate. And they won't. They literally won't. Anything else before I go? Please and thank you. Yeah, this cord has been removed completely. Now, I, I feel like these people have um, broken ties with them completely. And that's why they're holding the grudge as well, because they're by themselves. How are they holding a grudge, yeah? And giving bombastic side eye and all the rest of it because of what they did at their own hand. Because no one else was playing this game. No one. You're going to rock up to an angel or a high vibrational being and the energy of a flipping star, a continuously burning star, and... Try go want to fight and then get your butt kicked and then wonder why that happened. Whose fault is that? Libra, cooperation to perfect decisions about resulting from the fairness shown by. I feel like these two people over here, they've not only like cut communication, they've cut cords. I don't know, they may have been bound together in some way, almost like blood sisters or blood brothers. They're not anymore. They're literally not anymore. Resulting from the fairness shown by. But that's also giving me the energy of that sun energy again, being like, no, this is fair. I'm not punishing you. I am, this is your lesson. This is your lesson. If you get smacked around a bit in the astral, that's part of your lesson. If you end up, you know, having all these cords removed and being left with no magic whatsoever and no intuition, no psychic thought, that's your lesson. It's the fairest thing that we can do had gone to trial they may have gone to trial over this because this person is obsessed this person is obsessed this person isn't going to learn their lesson until they have nothing left and they have to prioritize should i continue doing this and ruining my own life or should i actually grow up there you go passion's upside down the frequency of passion reminds us that, that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight balance and calm it assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to calm of its core, where we can let its long lasting wisdom fill us up. And this person is refusing to do so. I feel like they've had many opportunities, many opportunities where a door's been opened by their ancestors or the daughter's spirit or whoever that is. And they're going, look, you're getting the same lesson being handed to you in different ways. Just read the book. You know, do do the um, do the revision so that when that exam comes up, you can pass it and you can just move on to the next year. You can move on to your next pro project. Why are you purposely digging your heels in and going no? Because that's what they're doing. That's literally what they're doing. And it's got to the point, especially with this passion card upside down. This person is living in chaos and they are purposely living in chaos, going, I'm happy here when they're not. And they are obsessed with having you stuck in the same cycle. But you can't do that to somebody who is constantly evolving and looking within themselves and going, constructive criticism, where do I need to heal? What do I need to pour into? Who do I need to let go of? So they may have tried binding you or someone in the collective many times and it didn't work. Colourless angel. See, what was I saying about someone here is an angel and this person is a pale imitation. They're a pale imitation. I don't know who they've been working with. Ten. This is like a fallen angel. I didn't even look at that in the background before, right? There's like a, a horse. The shadow of a horse with no eyes. Is this apocalypse? Is this, I don't know. Your desire. These are demons. That's what I'm getting. These are demons. Because I know there, there are different princes in hell. But I don't know all of their names. I know that they're, um, I know that they're seven deadly sins. And they're named after each deadly sense. Deadly seven sins whatever and they each have different names um they were working with one of them so one of their like um lower vibrational ancestors we were like come and work with this person they're great and all it's done is it sucked the life out of this person they're being seen as a colorless angel by other people 
And if you've got a sire here as well with Jenny, so they were doing SEX magic too. There's something about being a seductress or being like a, um, a Casanova or something like this, using like, um, I keep hearing the word prowess, like sexual prowess, because you've got Journey in reverse. So they were using this to block someone's forward path to this new beginning. Wow, what a flipping, what a mess, right? Oh my goodness gracious. And you've got key, communication is key and peaceful amongst thorns. And this person will not communicate. They have a very blocked throat chakra. And I think they always have had. Um, they're not willing to take accountability for their own pain. And that's what it comes down to. It's taking accountability for your own pain. It's okay not to feel okay. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel in grief or be sad or want to shout or all of those things because they're all all emotions are completely not valuable they're valuable they're valid but if you don't listen to where it's pointing to where you hurt then all you do is stagnate and become bitter and that's what this person's doing they'd rather be peaceful amongst thorns than actually put their hand up and go i hurt here because i invested so much into this trauma and into this grief and i'm so angry and yeah, I'm angry at them, but maybe I should be angry at myself too because I'm not letting this go. And they won't do it. And you've got underneath here, believe in the impossibles upside down. And it's going full circle again to the start when you or someone in the collective knew this person. That's what they were like. They were constantly hiding, almost like having their, their wounds as an armour and wearing them constantly, but you can't talk about them. And no, you can't lift me out this vibration. You've got to sit in this with me. Okay, you sit in this with me because you are the energy of Archangel Sandalphon and you're going to ground me and you're going to make me feel better by me just vomiting my energy all over you, this low vibrational energy. And you're going to ground and ground and ground that and you're going to do that every day for me. And I'm not going to lift one finger to actually look at why I'm hurting. Dear me, I won't cry for you is upside down. This person, I don't know, if, I don't think they're void of emotion, but I think that they think emotions are weakness. They think emotions are weakness. Sacrifice, yeah, it's a sacrifice. They would have to sacrifice something. If they actually have to open up, it would be too much. It would be way too much. Energy is gaining momentum. What is? Let's see. I think it's one of the longest readings I've done. Mm -hmm. Over here, let's see. Let's see what wants to come out here. Ugh. gift and coffin upside down and main female so i told you you've got a main female here right that wishes to gift something and um toil and labor it's supposed to put someone in toil and labor main female what are they up to this is a main female from someone's past that number two again it's the high priestess in reverse you have this gift i don't know if you're the main female and you're getting some sort of gift because it's there's something that you do that is a full-time job you help others or someone here helps others they don't want you getting this what's the gift what is the gift oh what is the gift false person in reverse high honor so whatever these lies are that this person has been speaking upon your name the gift is um, that clarity of, I'm hearing judication, it's to do with the courts, it's something legal, it's something illegal that they've been doing, it's, it's all going to be tied up and they're going to be, they were trying to frame someone or they were, they were using someone's name in fraud and, they, and like I said they were slandering someone's name here. It's going to be cleared up, this is one of the gifts, one of the gifts of this main female is it being cleared up being shown that they are not a false person. And also this is coming forward because when they came into this, you know, the sixth dimension and tried to do whatever they tried to do, either you or this sun energy that you are connected to showed kindness and said, look, they're gonna get their butt kicked, but there's no need to go overboard. They have to lose their third eye. They can't have that for right, for right now because this person is just purposely trying to harm themselves and others. It's almost like someone running around going, I'm going to cut myself, I'm going to hurt myself. And then and just taking the knife and being like, no, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. 
that's the energy and i'm sorry trigger warning on that but because of this because there was an anger so much coming from somebody in this be that you or someone in the collective when you were in the sixth dimension this is the gift that you're getting it's having your name cleared completely completely this is going to show that you are of high honor it's going to show that you are of high honor and look as well with the thoughts and occupation someone is going to have a changed mind about a job offer i feel like they may have wanted to offer someone a job before and they didn't because of lies because of this unprivileged lady this person that wants to hold on to all this money and opportunity that isn't theirs or they've taken out of force or duress right look supercharged is underneath solar plexus heart chakra and throat chakra anything else before i go i really need to know what's that ah oh, meet me on the ninth dimension your love your ancestors multi-dimensional aspects attachment and it's upside down so they were trying to um they wasn't just about taking a scroll it was about placing some sort of an attachment on you they've been planning this for a while they've been planning this for a while look earth bending comes out plants grow faster bigger and with more flourish when you give them love love archangel sandalphon trees gaia mother nature and they so this person was thinking oh but everyone knows who i am but everyone knows who I am. If you are this grounded earth angel or an actual physical angel, but for the earth, then I should be able to come into the sixth dimension when you're up in the ethers and mess with you. Because I'm sitting in some false light of being Archangel Metatron. I don't think so. But everyone knows who I am. This is the energy coming from them. A starseed, someone may be a starseed. Anything else that would like to come out, please? satanic cover and playing with ish they can't control pay the price and they have they literally have that fallen angel that's what i was saying it could be lucifer or satan or something along those lines your power scares them continue your affirmations and mantras that was upside down i feel like this person did not realize how much they were biting off more than they could chew i don't think they realized anything else that needs to come out Your words are powerful, hear my roar. And it says, oh, descendant of a sun god. Weren't we saying that? Come now, I have not made that up. Someone here is a descendant of a sun god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am a dark witch or I know one. So that's this person over here. Do you see the difference though, right? This person is rocking out labels, I'm a witch. That's some that's 3D-ish. Because anyone can cast a spell. Words are spells. Not everyone is a descendant of the sun god. That is crazy. That is flipping crazy. What else have we got here? Your faith is what protects you. But that's upside down. So I don't know what it is that they were protecting. What they were they were worshipping. And there's a lot here where this person from the past, be that a sibling, be that a cousin, be that a friend. They, I heard, I don't believe the hype. They don't believe the hype. So all the things that other people have been saying about maybe your gifts or your kind heart or whatever that may be, especially when we go back to talking about being an instigator for towers in a positive, in the most positive way possible. This person was like, I don't believe the hype. This person is not what they say they are. And they were telling people so much that they believed it themselves. Because if they've known you for a very long time and they know your energy, they know it to be true, but they're in denial because they're jealous and because they don't want to be like, actually, yeah, that's true. Golden healer. Someone may have a, a gold aura. Wand, blade, clean, cleaning smoke, herb mix. And then it says make a magical tool and it's upside down. So this person may be trying to do certain things that they do know from memory to help them. The Ten of Cups. An airbending, power of spoken word, the wind air. That's what they were using as well. Ten of cups to get what they wanted. But they, they, they started to believe their own lie. And now they've, it's almost like they've been told to sit down. You know, you're, you're a child at the adult's table. You need to go back to the kiddies table now. And they are angry. I think more than anything, it's their ego that's been bruised. Completely, completely. 
reading energy and auras third eye blockage trust yourself well they can't trust themselves because it's not just blocked it's gone and it says look the chosen one you are so bright you are so bright why so jealous keep moving forward and then here leap is upside down demonic energy you shape shifted too many times overdid what you did manipulation now it's messing with your face wow bat face sticky up nose bulbous eyes hairy fuzzy face i wrote these a very long time ago the scorpio and this could be a scorpio you could be a scorpio i'm going to leave it there i hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity in what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated i would love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscribes. Thank you for your emails that you send me. Please know at the moment that I am not taking any personal readings. Um, so if you do email me, you will not get a response for quite a while because I'm not looking at my emails at the moment. Um, and that goes for sponsors. Anyone watching that would like to sponsor or, you know, work together, I'm not taking any collaborations at the moment. Um, you can email me, but right now I am focusing just on myself, on chilling, on, um, you know, my health and so on and so forth. Um, if anyone would like to be part of the GoFundMe page that I have down below, it's not for me, it's for a really awesome, awesome cause. It's for Locus Dog and Cats Care Rescue, which is um, in the east coast of Sri Lanka. It's a very small um rescue center they can take up to they've got 150 dogs with them and 50 cats they go out daily to feed and to look after animals there are such a massive massive population of street dogs and street cats um and it's a little bit out of control to be quite honest there is not enough there's not enough people and so many animals and if these animals get hit by tuk-tuks which happens regularly they are left by the wayside and they will either perish or they will be crippled um, and the lady who has um, created this locus dog and cat care um, rescue she did so when she first went traveling around asia a long time ago she met Boku, a little tiny dog who had a neck injury and she nursed this animal back to health and then she realized how desperate it is out there how flipping desperate i'm still trying to figure out how to get all the videos up as well because i've been sent loads um with updates from this um this shelter and she she just put all of her money everything that she had into creating the rescue center that she has it's and like i said it's small it's basic but it's a shining beacon of hope because no one else is doing it i had the aim of raising 400 pounds and so far i am bulge away i am just i can't believe how much we have raised we've raised ten thousand pounds and that is off the backs of you guys um you are beautiful souls um i don't think even with the updates you understand how much this is changing beings lives not just humans not just the community with education and helping those out but the amount of animals out there who they have feelings they have they dream you know you see dogs sometimes on you know videos on youtube where they're sleeping and their legs are going and like their tails wagging and stuff like that they they dream they fear they um they get frightened they feel pain and without the money that you guys are sending a lot of them would not make it a lot of them would not be able to be treated for mange a lot of them would you know um not be able to have the operations that they are able to have and because of the money that you've sent there are many that have had operations now there are animals that have been sent over to germany to have a better um there's a better percentage for them to actually get um adopted now um connie can now actually afford to buy next guard which is a type of deworming um tablet that lasts for three months so she can go out and she can give that to any animal that she sees whether she's in the town that she's in or whether she's traveling and she can give it knowing that that animal is going to be healthy for the next three months thank you to everyone who has been has taken part who has donated to those who have shared if you would like to be part of this because i'm just going to keep it going i mean that it takes time for the money to kind of transfer over um so so far out of the ten thousand, um connie has and that the shelter has received 8,000. There's 2,000 just in transit in the air waiting to go over. Um, and we're just going to keep sending. When we get like a, a grand or two grands, we're going to keep sending it over. Anyone that would like to still be part of this, please have a look underneath. I have all of the different um, cleansing kind of meditation links down below. After that, you will see a link for the GoFundMe. 
and you will also find a link for their Facebook page and a link to their website as well. Anyone that would like to do that, please go ahead. You guys are beautiful, beautiful souls. If you cannot afford to, it's understandable. If you could just share that link with as many people as possible, because the more we get that awareness out, the more love we're going to get back. Um, with that being said, please do not get scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. Do not scam don't get scammed by anyone saying that you know dr so-and-so is going to be able to get you 30 37 euros thousand euros in in a week block and report all of that okay with that being said i have been talking for nearly an hour and a half and my throat is parched i love you guys stay awesome i'll see you in the next one bye Beep.